Um, okay. You can hear my cat meowing in the background probably. Yeah, we yeah. just make sure we have a commercial that we're live. Every once in a while we have a little glitch that then Emily, my favorite daughter, scurries around and fixes. I already introduced you. <laughs> oh, I'm looking for my, I don't have my iPad open. Oh good, I think Freckles is going to settle down. But then I'm going to move around her. Oh yeah. It's no nice. ads? Oh, there we go. I got the trigger for it. Let's see. We should be good since I got the ad, but I get to skip it. Okay, we're good. Okay. Hey, friends. Happy Wednesday, Friends Day. We're really excited you're here with us today. I'm going to paint this adorable goldfinch on a yellow flower. The link is in this video's description. I think it's Pexels, P-E-X-E-L-S.com, but the link's in this video's description. Emily's here with me tonight. Hello. We're gonna fly over to my art table and get started. You ready to catch? Uh-huh. So my hand goes in, the in front of the camera. Oh, oh Frickle, oh. you're tangled. I got I got the one of the microphone cords on the cat and she didn't <laughs> like it. Okay, last time I did this, we were looking at the ceiling. I'm doing better. So I need to confess, I, I wanted to, I've done this before where I start a painting so I can get it done in time. And then I was worried because I'm like, there's a lot of details and shadows. So I painted a little more and then I was still worried. So I painted a little more and now I'm worried I've painted too much. But full disclosure, yes, I worry about my paintings. <laughs> We'll set the table. Oh, also linked in this video's description is, a, it's a goldfinch on a different flower on purple. And then it, it start to finish. It's, it has time lapse in it, but if, you know, since this one might be a little disappointing for some of you, I am going to get the, just open up YouTube, but I won't do your job. Okay. So this is a five by seven, five by seven inch cradled wood panel from US Art Supply. Inch and a half thick. I put clear gesso on it before I started painting it. I can't remember what the gesso says, but it says you're supposed to wait a lot longer than I ever do. Sometimes I dry it really well with a hair dryer, go do something for an, for an hour and, and just try to, and it's always worked. Of course it would depend, it's been really dry here, so it would depend on where you live. I'm using colors I use an awful lot. Mm -hmm. They're all Liquitex. I'll just flash the first one here. Cad Yellow Medium Hue. So that's that one. Quinacridone Magenta. Let's find something to point with. Thalo Blue. Mars Black. And Titanium White. I mixed um, Thalo Blue with some yellow and a little bit of black and made this pretty, I don't know what color that is, pretty green, greenish color, and then pulled it out and put some white in it for my background. So that's what this is. And then I just, oh, actually I took a smaller brush. I'm not sure which one. It wouldn't matter. And then I just did squ squigglies and then another layer and played with the values. And then once that was dry, I took some, um, yellow, cadmium yellow, medium hue, and some water so it's thin, and I just glazed a little bit of water right over, or a little bit of water, a little bit of yellow right over. Oh, I used the photo as a traceable, that would have been the step before all the paints and colors. I printed out to five by seven and traced it. Let's see, what else? I mixed the browns from an orange. Oh, I, um, I painted the background around the flower and the bird, which took took longer, but I wanted the warm of the wood to help with the yellows underneath the bird and the flower. Okay, Emily, I think that sets the table. And she always waits, because I usually say more. <laughs> okay, let's see here. So far tonight in the chat with us oh you you said fun goldfish oh oh okay oh some people must have dropped off because i can't see them oh it says goldfish it's supposed to be goldfinch oh fun goldfish facts 
That's what you said. That is what it says. I see it in the chat. But a couple people must have dropped off because I only see Cindy, Marty, Deborah, Alice, and Diana. Hey, everybody. Thanks for coming. It's a nice day here in Omaha, Nebraska, but it's really windy. Really windy. Oh, did you see the sky last night with the little little storms blowing in? Oh, kind of, yeah. And yeah. then there were some really gorgeous, dramatic sunsets. I had to make uh, the Heidi hole again for oh. Maya because it started raining. Maya's one, one of Emily's cats. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to work on... I think I'm going to pull up my reference fo photo. I, I, I mean... I don't know. I, Emily probably just chuckles at me because I, I'm I'm kind of funny, kind of funny in a, like a strange way, like like I'm like look how far I am on this painting. <laughs> I'm like oh my god, it's almost done. Well, not my not the way I paint, no. but but still, I'm just like oh, and, and it's so funny because I look at I'm like oh, I don't know if I can get it done in time. That's right. I'm I am learning, I'm learning painting too. I mean, I keep improving. I think. I don't see the improvement, but when I look back at the YouTube paintings, I'm like, oh, I am getting better. So I just, I mixed a, just a pinch of phthalo blue, a lot of yellow to make a pretty limey green, and I'm putting some white in it. I think Freckles is like, you're supposed to paint, I can't, she's still, oh, she's in a sunspot, yay. Freckles mm -hmm. is my cat. And Marty says, hi, Freckles. <laughs> They're besties. So I think that color I put down was the, actually the right color for the reference photo, but it's not really showing very well in the wood. I think a little darker. Oh, I flashed that I was using a number four round from Princeton. Okay, now that I started painting, I'm like, okay, I don't think I, I, don't, I cleaned it off and I just re decided to go back and I should have done it while I had this in my brush, just paint the highlight. Oh, here, let's do a screenshot because this is kind of like round one, sort of, <laughs> you know, when they talk about underpainting. I'm setting up my shadows, and sometimes I forget the screenshot thing. Oh, she is in a sunspot. Yeah, that's good. I'll keep her, mm -hmm. keep her out of our hair. Keep her happy. Oh, if you don't want to check the link out to the other goldfinch on a, a different yellow flower, I did. This one's a little pinker, but I painted this one already. You kind of get an idea what it might look like on the purple. That other flower is fun. You, you, all the petals, I think, are still there, and it has the chubbier petals. I don't know what kind of flower it is. Okay, I'm going to grab a little black. Oh, probably there. I think I like this petal over here. And there's these little triangle shapes that are if I don't get them just right it's okay Susie says so beautiful already thank you yeah it's <laughs> yeah I'm pretty far I think well I know I'm better at talking and painting mm -hmm. I think eventually I'll be faster of gauging and better at gauging, but yeah. also faster at just painting. I've been trying to go looser, but with these, I tend to get out the smaller brushes. And I'm going to grab some of the phthalo blue, even though my brush is dirty. And then paint. There's kind of this here. I could show you. This might be easier than my iPad. There's this part that's dark. Oh, yeah. I still haven't thought about, I totally forgot about printing out a really small photo to have on screen all the time if it could fit it on. Remember we talked about that a while ago? Talked about what? Oh, are you working? And I was just making sure, since I'm sitting over here, that I, there was no crackle. Oh, well, I, I can wait. No. Or I've already interrupted. 
Um, remember I, in one of the lives we talked about having a little photo printed oh, out? Oh, yeah. I totally forgot about that. Am I going to remember next week? No. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do next week. I've, I've changed my mind three times. <laughs> I finished the rooster painting. It looks good. Today. Yeah, I like it. I go slower. It's kind of like um, warming up to play a sport. I go slower in the beginning so I feel a little bit more comfortable. Your computer's hot. It is hot. Oh. I'm running Photoshop. <laughs> oh. So she's going to be cranky at me. Um, Demetra says, I love that background. Oh, thank you. I've done... Oh, I don't know if I did it. I meant to link. You don't have to do it right now, really, if you're doing something yeah, else. Yeah, I can link it. I meant to link um, how to, I, we did two backgrounds during a live. And it's all similar. And they all, when I do them, they turn out different every time. Sometimes I come back and add a little white. I'm thinking as I'm looking at it, it's too plain down here. But keep going and we'll figure it out. How long ago did you do that? Well, it'd be under the art tips, but okay, good. I don't know if that helps you. That does help. Sometimes when we search the channel, it doesn't pop up. Okay, I'm gonna take some of this blue. Am I in frame? Yes. And just get. So you can put the dark on the edge, but I think it looks more round. If you put dark, not in the middle, well, I've kind of got it in the middle here, but off the edge. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I feel like I repeat stuff that people already know. It's fine. Yeah, you never know who's watching. Let's see. I'm just painting the stem onto the, the bottom. Okay, let's grab. You say it's in the art tips playlist. Should be. Let's do. It's a yellow. Or even is the art tips. It has. It might have oh, bokeh in the title because we did a kind of a greenish. We did do a bokeh. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> Found it. Well, I know it better than you do. You know. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna. Oh, I don't have a. Mix. What color? I don't want to. I could use my background color, but it helps tie the background into my subject by putting some yellow in it. So I think I'm gonna mix a green and not use my background color for now. I can always add it later. Okay, it's added to the description of the live. Thanks. You'll get to see how, I, I mean, everybody does a little different. You're going to do a little different, but you can see. Oh, Chase popped in with his $9.99 and his little goat emoji. Hey, Chase, man. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Marty says, I took a picture of chickens this weekend. I'm going to give it a try. Oh, fun. Feel to share that in the group. Yeah, no pressure. No pressure. <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> but Emily says you, you have, have to. You don't have to, but but you have to. I know I don't. I don't know any local farmers saying, "Hey, can I take photos of your?" <laughs> Just show up. Chicken. Can I take photos of your chickens? <laughs> well, it's a little darker than I anticipated. Hmm. Probably because we're here. I'm going to wipe off most of what's in my brush. Still kind of dark. Oh, there we go. It's because of the color underneath it. Marty said, I will send you some of my pictures. Oh, thank you. I 
I'm really just painting stripes right now. <laughs> I have my phone. I was like trying to turn it so I can see you better. There we go. I noticed your door hanger was gone. I assume you took it off because of the wind, or did it? I forgot to ask you if it blew away. Oh, my decoration on my front door? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I took it down a day or two okay, ago when it was good. really windy because I found it on the ground. I'm like, mm -hmm. I need to find some way to tie it onto the hook. But yeah, I kind of, I don't face that direction, but you know, it, it comes around the corner and blasts my door. I kind of face that direction. You get a little wind tunnel action. Yeah. Oh, gosh. When the drift was, it wasn't halfway up my door when we had all that snow. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, oh. Okay. Of course, the upside, too, is when it blows like that, the, it usually blows off part of the driveway. Mm -hmm. But that was even when I was shoveling and, like, like every three or four inches, because that's about all I can handle. Excuse me. That seems like a long time ago now. I know. It feels like so much weather ago. <laughs> <laughs> we do have like more weather. More ups and downs. It's kind of ups and downs anyway where we live. But I don't know why I'm doing that. I'm not really, nothing's changing. That happens to me when I'm not, when I'm painting just on my own, I'm like, nothing's changing here. Or the paint isn't coming off. That happens to me quite a bit. Just kind of dry brushing. I don't think you can see it scumbling my stripes. My stripey stripes. You guys go oh you're working sorry no no do you guys go, go to the gym today yes we go you go every day don't you yeah every day almost except and around lunchtime whenever we take a lunch hour or whatever i think that's awesome i walked on the treadmill oh <gasps> you did i did oh my goodness i did Let's see. These are big decisions here. I'm being sarcastic. Let's, I do like having a reference photo. I'm just gonna... So what I wanna do is like put in every stripe as I see it in the photo. I don't think that's everybody. I don't think, I think that's a me thing. I think some people are like, oh gosh, why would you bother, you know? But I'm just gonna indicate some. Uh oh. Hmm. When Emily puts on the headphones, I worry about static or. I already have the headphones on. Oh. I always wear them. Oh, I thought I saw you. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. So this caught my attention. These are all the same color. I'm going to take some blue and. Oh. <gasps> I think it's when I have my computer plugged in. Could I be. Heard that's it for like what a I was. There. That's what I was thinking last time, but you said no, I thought. No. I just, last time I was, I wasn't plugged in or whatever, so we didn't know. Oh, okay. Oh, oops. I trust you to remember. I accidentally swiped away. No swiping. I, for some reason, I'm going to urge to say brush stroke direction matters. No, I don't think I want that color. Let's go a little limeier. Or maybe I don't hear anything. Well, chat can let you know they're really good about it. Oh, I put I turned the smelly thing on, but I didn't mean to keep it on. Is it too strong? Oh, she's listening. Sorry. <laughs> what? Sorry. What? 
Oh, is the smelly thing too strong? No. I forgot to turn it on. Mm -mm. No. Sorry. No. <laughs> Poor Emily. I think we're good. I just heard it at first, I thought. We're good for now. No, no, I kind of covered up my darker greens. That used to frustrate me more. Now I'm just like, oh, good, another layer. That'll help me. I like that his petals are bendy. Yeah. He's missing them a little bit. I didn't put, I put in most of them. Mm -hmm. But I didn't put in all of them. I'm not happy with the light and I'm not happy with the dark. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Maybe you'd be happy, happy with like a medium tone? Yeah, and I'm losing all my stripes because I have too much paint. <laughs> Okay, we'll get there. This could be why it takes me longer to paint. I don't get it right on the first try. Oh, I forgot to show you. I um, I finished the, or I didn't finish, but the the thing that I'm having to remake the logo on or whatever, mm -hmm. um, I should have sh zoomed out and showed you the whole thing because I, yeah. I did a new, a new spud for Chase's football team. Oh, did you? His flag football, yeah. Oh, fun. We've done one every year or whatever. Uh-huh. I, I did a different one this year. That's fun. <laughs> I don't think it looks quite like that in the reference photo, but I'm going to bring that in. Okay, we're not too far off now. Oh, I don't have any shoes on. And I walked on the treadmill, so my knee's now getting sore. There we go. <laughs> oh, sorry about the old people noise there. <laughs> oh, my knee was stuck. All right, let's try this again. This is going to be too light. Maybe not. I'm just going to kind of lightly swipe. Maybe I should just leave it alone. It's probably pretty good. It's just because I'm four inches from it. Six inches. I was slouching like this. And oh, okay. I straightened up right before you looked. <laughs> Maybe eight. Maybe eight. Eight, eight with good <laughs> we posture. We want to get technical about it. Maybe, eight, maybe with good, eight. Eight with good posture. I think that's probably pretty good. Okay. I think I'll put in, I'm just going to grab some titanium white. I feel pretty chill today. What's wrong with me? You got so far on that painting, it's Maybe that's chill. why I'm not so worried. <laughs> I bet you that's it. <laughs> oh, we're learning. I'm learning. Emily's patient. I'm learning. Emily's patient. Diana says, such gorgeous, happy colors. I, well, I, yeah, I like that turned out well. I really wanted to do a purple one, but I've got a video that's linked in this video's description mm -hmm. uh, with a purple background, different photo. Same bird species. But yeah, I, I like this one. This one will probably sell fast. The birds sell pretty fast anyway. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of a springy, summery yeah. bird. So it's very on season. Yeah. Well, and I got, oh, I, I, the, I, not the most important point, but so I have a bird feeder out on my back patio. And I've been seeing a goldfinch pair every day, several mm -hmm. times a day, mm -hmm. along with the dove pair, Deborah and Dave. Deborah and Dave. <laughs> that Emily named. So I'm like, oh, I should paint a goldfinch. And then I found this reference photo. The other reference photo, the link doesn't work. Hmm. For like, I'll just say the year old video. Yeah. I don't, I don't, it's probably about a year. Um, I'm like, oh, bummer. But it's not like it's a broken link. It's like the, the photographer took it down. That, that stinks for people who come along later. Mm -hmm. That's almost wood color. I looked over there like in real life. <laughs> I do that every once in a while. What did I say? In, in real people? In real, in real person. In real person. <laughs> That was funny. I keep saying that back to you. In real person. Here. The video smooths it out. So let's see. From before, I had nothing, and now I have something. 
Oh, I painted the lights pink just so they'd be a different color. They're kind of orangey in the reference photo. So there's a toe. I don't know if you can see it. And then there's another two toes. A tutter. And this is a leg. And I, I think it kind of, I don't know. I don't know how it worked. I just followed the reference photo. I like his pink legs. Yeah. And he has a little spot here, so I put, I put a spot in there. So I put the spot in and I covered it up with a little bit of orange and I'll probably put the spot in. I mean, you know, I just keep playing. playing. This means with the values and the layers. Okay, yeah. I think Emily's mo mocking me <laughs> in my peripheral vision. <laughs> okay, so I painted a lot of greens. I painted some, some oranges. There's a little bit in the reference photo. This is orange, but I, I painted that triangle white just to get some shadows because what I'm thinking, I'm gonna make sure my brush is pretty clean. I'm thinking that we can just glaze and then I can play with values or... Oh, do we have a break? Oh yes, except for I left it in my office. Oh, grab it. I don't, it might be buried under all the papers on the left. I'll find it. Closer, closer to the printer side of the desk. Oh, Tinker says, Looks great. Hey, Tinker. I'm going to clip my mic to the So I'm not glazing right now. I'm going, I just, I was looking at the reference photo and trying to figure out what I want to leave white. I think I want that like a light yellow. Because it's awfully strong if I leave it white. It's going to be awfully strong maybe if I make it light yellow. I think that's better. It's very much on the other side. On the right? Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. No, oh, there's not much on your desk. Well, oh, I suppose it's better than it was a couple days ago. I'm going to leave some of them white. I'm just kind of picking and choosing here. Grab some yellow. I was going to glaze, and now I'm not glazing. When I used to watch you, oh, I want that white. When I used to watch YouTube artists more, I'm like, oh, they do the same things I do. It's weird. <laughs> they bounce around because it occurs to them. Mm -hmm. they, they say they're going to do something, then they don't. I'm like, okay. You're normie. Well, yeah. And it also won't, like, I don't know. People will be used to it. Mm -hmm. I found the word. Oh, I think we want this. You can follow the reference photo, or you can kind of just, I'm just kind of breaking up the whites. Oh, I'm not gonna leave that one white though. All right, we can just put them back in. I like to think a lot when I paint. I don't know if that's a good thing though. I think I just think a lot. Which is probably why painting is good for me because my only thoughts are lighter, darker, what color. Can I get it painted in time? <laughs> you could paint the background and then paint values or just, you know, paint white underneath the yellow to get it to look. Because if you don't, it's, that's really thin yellow, but it's going to go greenish on you. Just paint white or, whoops, that's not the color I thought I had in my brush. Paint white underneath your yellows, your reds, your oranges. I think for any brand, but I'm not sure to get them to be out of the tube color looking. That was a weird sentence. I am in my happy place where I'm choked up like it's a pencil. <laughs> my paintings are getting looser though. A lot of times I don't like them as well. It takes longer for painting that I paint that's looser for me to like it than when I do tight. Meaning like I won't like it for a week or so or two weeks to a month if it's a looser one. I think it's just because I'm crankier about it. Oops. Oh, we do need to do a, a little quick thank you, don't we? Mm -hmm. We've got five minutes to our normal 
Thank you, Time. Oh, I do. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, no, you don't. No. I forget that this, for some reason, the the computer doesn't keep time well. <laughs> it says it's 625 on my laptop. That's odd. I know. That's really odd for, because mm-hmm. they update with daylight savings. and. Mm-hmm. It's 6.30 now, though. So now you have to stop immediately. So I'm losing my value as I'm putting the yellow on. Mm-hmm. Then I don't get as much contrast. I'm going to come back and... Swoopy swipe. And put in some darker values. But at least I can kind of see where they go. And I've made... It'll make it easier for me because I've made decisions about brown or green. Just to mix it up. Make it a little more entertaining. I'm going to finish three petals. I think I'm going to do that white as I paint outside the line. Yeah, I'm really choked up on that brush. Well, it's not, I say it like it's a bad thing. It's not. Just pulling some yellow over my background. I don't know if you can even see it. Okay, kind of like round two with the the flower. Yeah, that took me half an hour. Now I'm not feeling quite so bad that I. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I mean, it's it looks like a simple painting, but I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get mm-hmm. into all those petals and. Yeah. I just want to take a minute and thank Jana H for sending money through PayPal. Thank you so much. That's it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, thank you. That wasn't even long enough for that to dry. I'll take a drink. I always use this container because it has my stickers on it. It's kind of loud when I drink. I'm going to look at the stream to see, take a peek at everybody and see the painting. Oh. I'm wondering if the background's too busy. But I don't mind it on this. I mean, the bird's not done. No, it's not done, and I don't mind it on this one. Of course, I was going to, with a delay. What's nice is I put some oranges. Boy, I think I like this one better. This green bud better than this one. And I struggled with this one. Isn't that funny? Oh, yeah, it looks, on the stream, it looks fine. Especially now that I got them side by side. Then it says, I love the background. Leanne says, ooh, love this bird, Annie. Oh, thank you, thank you. Freckles disagrees. Oh, and she says, sorry, I am late. Oh, no, don't ever apologize. Oh, Diana says, ooh, both are so gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I, this is a, it's not a different background, but a little bit different color than I think I've done on anything before. I don't think I've done a, I don't know what color to call that. It's not aqua. I don't know. Kind of phthalo green. Let's see. I need to... Let's go darker. Let's... Might be too soon, but I'm going to take a little water. At least she doesn't want me, Emily. I know. Hi. Do you want the up or are you just going to meow? And Not I'm, that side. This side. Let's see. I'm going to... This is going to scare me. It's already scaring this me. Come here. Come I'm just kind of lightly swiping. No? Okay. Come on. She has. We've talked about this plenty of times. She has so much tortitude. I know. Oh, I like that. Come on. It's a little pink down now here. Now you want up. Come here. Oh, and you, of course, you stood kind of at a bad angle. Sometimes she's not even standing high enough for us to pick her up. Or for me. Let's see. Tinker says... I'd love to see a video on how you did that background. Uh, Emily added a not this partic- this color combination, but I did it the same way as I did um, as the video that's linked in this description of, under this video's description. We did two backgrounds side by side, and I just I put in color 
and it looks terrible. And then I put them, sometimes I mix wet and wet in little sections. And I just kind of keep, sometimes I'll take a, this is a little bit, this is big. I used a smaller brush. But sometimes I'll even kind of just twist it. Let it dry. And I'm like, ooh, how about if I get some thinned out, little slightly lighter shade and just kind of play with it. And then I go, oh, how about some dark over here? Because we've got dark here. So hopefully that helps a little bit. But there is a video that shows you how I do it. I don't know if they turned out quite as well during the live. I can't even remember. We did a bokeh and a kind of a brownish swirly mm -hmm. like this one. And then sometimes I have bigger swirls or I'll come back. This one's really obvious, but sometimes I'll come back when it's not so obvious and just add some bigger strokes because I've gotten too little with it. I forgot which way my phone's going. It's kind of the same as all my backgrounds when I'm looking at these little paintings sitting next to me. Now that's all isn't, not all of them. I kind of do a sweeping sky or a swirling background. It kind of reminds me of uh, marbled paper. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that helps a smidge tinker. Yeah, I, I know it's disappointing when it's, I don't do start to finish. Live streams, I'm just not that fast yet. And then I was, if you weren't here at the beginning, I was worried that I hadn't had so much done. And now I'm going, oh, I'm glad I, <laughs> I did so much. Because I get, I like to get lost. And so now I'm, I'm thinking values. I had them in there. And then when I added the yellow, the colors relative, the contrast wasn't as strong. So now I'm putting some values back in. I'm going darker. I have brown here, but I'm going to go green, so the orange center. In the reference photo, it's just kind of a yellow-brown center. But I like the orange. I don't know if that did a darn thing. I don't know if you guys can even see that. If you guys can't see it, then it probably didn't need to be done. Because the stream is like standing back from it. So I also do this sometimes because that area has just been bugging me. So I just took a little of my green, oop, I mean, there we go, and just swiggled it. Oh, and then it does weird things when you lay it down and still has a little paint in it. Okay. Um, that's better. I think that's better. I'm going to step back. I'm going to put a little orange down here. I don't think it matters, but I think it would just be kind of fun. Oh, and it's not coming off my brush. Or maybe it just isn't showing because of the green. I think that's better. It is better. I think I'm going to lighten up. I've got a really big, strong yellow petal. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I hear it. When I talk, or should I be quiet? No, I just hear it. Oh, so I'm just mixing up some yellow and white. Sometimes people say, how do you know how much? I don't, and sometimes I really get a huge puddle and I scrape some of it off and put it on a paper towel. I still forget. I know like black is really strong and then I still use way too much black. I think it's something with my laptop being plugged in. Hmm. I unplugged it. And I push my laptop away and it's better. Well, good. Other than we use your laptop for... I assume you use the laptop for the stream. Hmm? I assume you use your laptop to check the stream sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I listen on my phone, but I can do more on my computer than, yeah. the, la than the phone for the live. And read the comments better. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or the chat better. Be much easier. Okay, I unplugged it. I'll, I'll have enough battery to run through the rest, I think. I think, I think. Oh. 
Oh, that's any better. Is that flower done? You know what? I'm going to grab some. I'm going to wipe my brush out. If it's not quite white, it's okay. After I paint it out some white, then I come back and put it in. I think, um, I don't know, it depends on how you paint and what you paint, but I definitely painting has helped me build up my patience. I'm going to overdo this. <laughs> it's like I feel it and I, keep, I just can't, I just keep going. Not funny. I'm putting in a lot of the white I painted out. I want that to come forward. Okay, I bet you we're probably good. I can see some of my um, my chalk pastel lines. Hmm. Which I mean, you know, some artists are like, oh, and others are like, no problem. It's part of the art. I don't know how I, I guess I don't like them since I'm painting them out. I feel like my um, hair just hit the phone if it wiggled. Let's see, can I? Oh, I want it darker. I'm just trying to paint out some of my chalk pastel lines now. Or just make them like a paint color. Let's grab. Oh, I hope I'm in frame. Yeah. I'm going to set it down so I'm not going all over the place. Do I have too much orange? I ask the question and I go ahead and Did that do anything? I don't think so. <laughs> I like that. Oh, I, I, I don't say that loud. Cause I, I'm, I've been listening to audiobooks from the library. Mm -hmm. It's in my head though. And then sometimes I have to back up the audiobook if I'm talking too much too much to mm -hmm. myself. Like what happened? You know, my, my brain isn't with the audiobook, which is probably good, really, since I'm painting. I just saw this, so I'm going to see if I can. Oh. I was hoping I'd wake up. Yes, black's so strong and I barely grabbed any. All right, let's um, try and lighten it a little. Now watch me go too dark. Oh, I think it's about the same. Oh no, it's a little darker. For same reason I wanted that darker. Oops. You go to touch something up and then you mess with it. So I googled gold finches and some of them kind of seem to have white feathers on their leg because this one has a white leg and a yellow leg. Hmm. And I thought, well, is it just the light? But I'm thinking it has a white leg and a yellow leg. But some of them don't have white legs and some of them have two white legs. I'm like, oh. That's crazy. All right, I'm look. I'm sorry if this is really slow, guys. I'm looking at it. I do like it. this is better. I think this is better. And do I like the green? I don't know. I think I need to stop. Not worry about it. Okay, let's. I'm gonna zoom in on the eye. On my iPad. 
Gosh, I think that could be done. I think his beak looks a little, I don't know, I think his beak's okay. I'm gonna put a highlight in it. Well, here, I'm using a little background color, maybe. I usually do blue. I've already got, already have blue in there. All right, here, I'm gonna show you. This is a small painting, so I can't get the detail. But look at all that detail in that eyeball. And so when I zoom in like this, I want to get it all. Maybe I shouldn't zoom in. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. Kind of like you buy the school lunch bag and chips. Yeah. So I only eat two of those bags instead of the whole big bag. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's just aim for a dot somewhere. Oh, it already dotted. I wasn't ready. Now you got to put a whole tree in that reflection. Yeah. Well, he's got some of the dots. Some of his eyelashes are in the reflection. Mm-hmm. Pretty cool. Mm hmm Is that a tree or the sky? I can't totally tell. I don't know. I thought it was maybe a tree or sky. I don't know. Uh, Diana says, do you sell your artwork? Are, you, are your paintings listed for sale somewhere? I have prints listed at, um, it's through Fine Art America, but I paid for a private site. So it's, it's a, it, the link is in this video's description. It's an awkward, it's an old site. It's ann-tro.pixels.com. I sell the originals in two galleries here in Omaha and I'm getting ready for a July show. So I'm, and I'm also trying to have I, been, I sold well last month, which is great. It's a great problem to have, but then I don't have inventory for the July show. Mm -hmm. So that's why I've got two of these. I've been starting to paint double or triple of things. Oh, just to try to, but also then it takes longer, you know, mm -hmm. instead of just getting one painting and moving on, mm -hmm. it takes twice as long, which is, I mean, it's good. I try to kind of assembly line them sometimes. I'm gonna pull more white here, just, I don't know, called to me. So the question was, do I sell my paintings? Yes. And I'm really putting too much detail in that eye. Let's put some yellow, let's put some yellow in. Yeah, this is like primaries out of the tube, except for my background's more muted compared to like out of the tube yellow. It's pretty strong. I put some white up here thinking it might be lighter. Oh, it is. I don't know if you can see it though. And that might be just way. Oh, you know what I just see in his, hmm. I mean, he does have it, but he's got like, his hair almost looks like he's got, it's sitting on top of his head more instead of part of his head. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a high end tight. It was, is that what they call him? I don't know what you're picturing, but yeah, maybe. Um, grandpa. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I mean, it does kind of do that. Mm -hmm. But all of a sudden it started looking more 3D. Probably because the values, I have my values changing more. Yeah, your black doesn't bleed so much into the yeah. yellow like the feathers do. All right, I just, oh, I bounce around. I just noticed that it'd be fun to put in a couple little... I do it so I don't forget. I would say the majority of my income is from selling paintings. Oh yeah. And then licensing. I license my art through an agent to manufacturers. Um, I just licensed three, two old paintings and a, fair, a newer one, a year old painting to Diamond Art Club. And they're gonna be diamond painting kits. Well, when I say that, I think those will go through. I don't know what they have to do to manufacture them. Like during the pandemic, things were stuck on ships, and I, I mm -hmm. had garden flags, several garden flags that I never, I don't think made, made it. Mm -hmm. Who knows where they are? <laughs> Who knows where they are? Mm -hmm. um, but I think those will make it. All right, now this popped into my head. But what's nice about talking, I sometimes look at Emily, I see things I might want to change. It's not that in a reference photo, but I kind of like the contrast. 
Okay, I was gonna work on the bird. Oh, this this one, this one's browns. This one I tried green and I like it. Here, maybe we should do like a screen. Did I do a screenshot already of this one? And then maybe you can see the green if it focuses. And then this one I used browns. You can do it either way. The green's kind of fun. If you're looking for juicy. I love how just stuff pops into my head. There isn't a script. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pick this up because it's making me nervous. So when I paint the yellow over there, it pushes that dark corner, I want to call that, by the eye back a little bit. And I think I'm wiping it off. Grab a little more paint. And I didn't like how strong that is. But that's, oh, hopefully that's in frame. That's where um, the layers can be fun. He doesn't really have a cheek, but I'm kind of giving him a cheek. Well, I guess he kind of does. Take that back. I like that I'm leaving a little bit of white here. I don't think I didn't. Oh, yeah, I did a little bit on the other one, too. Oh, but I took, um, I'm going to grab some of this yellow white because it'll cover the dark background. I put just like a couple. Ah, I don't like that one. I think I'll be fine. A couple little crazy hairs. I do not want to do it somewhere else. You kind of almost lose the edge, which is fun. I, I'm, one of these days I'm going to do that more. I have very edgy paintings. You see most of them. Well, almost all the edges. <laughs> You're very edgy. Very edgy. So edgy. <laughs> no sarcasm in Emily's mm -mm. voice. Favorite daughter. The most edgy. <laughs> I'm very edgy in my paintings. Oh, I'm so zoomed in. I think I want a bigger brush. And I'm not grabbing it. Let's get a bigger brush. So I've got, just sitting in front of me, number seven. Oh, it's not a half inch. I think this one's a half inch. Number 10, Filbert, very cheap, Amazon. Let's see, I don't know if you can read it. Zooting. Let's take the smaller one. Gosh, I'm dry tonight. Okay. Grab some water. Let me grab too much water. Just trying to thin out my yellow. It's getting sticky. My, my palette's a couple days old. I think I started this painting on Sunday. So I'm thinking round tummy. Try to... I could paint it all yellow, but I'm going to see what happens if I don't. I need to stop. I might need to blend that line in a little bit. Oops. Too dark. No, I don't think I blended it. Here, we could go this way. Might be easier. White covers better. Nothing's happening. <laughs> I keep. Oh, it is. It is. <laughs> I don't know. Is something happening? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I'm like nothing's coming off my brush. I'm like, oh, there it is. I think I wanna. 
I'm looking at my reference photo. I'm going to take the background color. It's going to be really strong, so I'm kind of scared. So that's why I just kind of scribble it on my palette here just to make sure I don't have too much paint. Any dark color would really do. Let that dry. There's a little, I don't think I can do it here, maybe. Uh, one thing I think I'm getting better at is judging before I even get it to the painting, whether it's the right value. Hmm. That just takes practice. But maybe I'm just kidding myself, because watch, I'm going to not like this. Oh, that's not bad. I'm going to paint over it, so I, probably, I might lose it, might not be dark enough. Okay. I feel like it, this is really meticulous. I don't know. I watched um, just a smidge of Angela Anderson last night. She's doing this much larger painting. You know, of course, bigger brush helps. Mm -hmm. It was an eclipse painting, I think. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. You know, I'm blending very colorful sky, mm -hmm. but darker sky. Yeah. Um, I'm just like, geez, Louise. I mean, it's awesome. Just not me. Okay. I'm going to lose it too if I don't. Oh, no. I like that. So sometimes I lean left or right. I don't think you can tell in the stream. Because I'm getting a little glare from my, my light that I have on my art table. Just to see what I'm doing. I don't know how that looks in the stream. I think I'll probably turn that back on. I don't think that's doing anything. I'm just kind of looking at values in this line. I think I just need to leave it alone. Move on. Move on. I'm going to work it to death. That sounds so, like, I don't know, depress <laughs> depressing. Move on. I'm going to work it to death. Oh, here, I want to look at the stream. How's it looking? Looking sweet. I like his belly spot. Yeah, I'm going to go over it. I might have to make it darker again. Oh, I'm not. I'm like, why am I not going? <laughs> Hit play. Oh, okay. The petals are better. Okay, let's grab some yellow. What's nice is that's, I mean, if I work it, that little V shape I paint is going to come up, but I can be gentle with it. Okay, so shading. This is like an egg or a ball. My light source is coming from, we'll use Emily's original little sun. We have stickers of these in our, our shop. I think they're two bucks. They change. The price, price changes. Yeah, it's why. like a third party I don't know. merch site. Oh, yeah. Um, so my darkest area, if there's a little reflective light, you've got a little, it's a little lighter here, and then it goes darker, and then it goes even lighter. That makes me want to do this as I talk about it. And then it goes, if you want to make him look, ch let's, if I don't like it, we can paint it out. And then lighter, where the sun is hitting it. And then you can have a strong shadow, too. Oh, I just painted out one of the the marks. I'm just kind of going slow and light here because I can't totally see it. So I'll make it look rounder. Even though it's not sitting on a table or it's not a vase or anything. Well, and then you kind of, uh, what, what you're saying is the yellow flower light is reflecting up onto the underbelly of the goldfinch. And sometimes that's what will sell it. And then really, you probably shouldn't do what I did on this one. And I covered up all that lovely shading I did with a big swipe. <laughs> all that work. I mean, you can still see it. But it's like, okay, that's funny. All right, yellow. I still need to buy the cat yellow. I looked on Amazon and they didn't have any. I need, I'm going to go to oh. Michael's, I think. It's shipping paint 
by Amazon season. Yeah. Because it won't freeze. <laughs> it won't freeze. It's not, not going to be 100 and whatever. Yeah. I'm going to grab some green. This might be a mistake. I like that in the other one. Sometimes I, I look back and like, oh, I had it like a half an hour ago. Oh, when you watch the live again? Uh -huh. But when I'm on top of it, I don't. You don't do that. But I do that all the time mm -hmm. when it's not live. I think I like the green better than the brown. Do we need to go darker? Let's see. Marty says, love all the information you relay in your videos. Oh, good. Thanks. I have listened to other painters. Cause you'll, and then if I hear something like, oh, I want to see that, then I, you know, back it up. And... Mm -hmm. uh, Lori says, I am late. Helping my grandson Skylar with homework. Tell him hello. He'll be so excited. Hey, Skylar. How cool that you're doing your homework. <laughs> Uh, and Diana says, what do you use to seal your paintings, please? Ah, I have a video. Uh, it's probably in the art tips playlist. I, um, I picked this up from some guy on Jerry's Artorama. I don't remember his name. Let's see if I can find it. So when this is dry, I'll put a, this is thinned out. I just stir some water into a uh, gel glass. I don't know how much. You know, it should say... How many parts to... Uh -huh. I really don't worry about it anymore. Mm -hmm. You know the... Well, I can kind of feel it. It mm -hmm. says up to 25% water. Oh, I probably... I don't know. I, I might do that, but then I even get have a wet brush. And then I just take a brush and I put a gloss layer on it. Now, you'd want to do that, like for uh, a painting, that any painting that you're going to use a removable varnish on, because that'll protect it if they remove the varnish. This gloss layer will protect your painting. Um, I do it because this guy said it adds more depth to the color, and I think it does. I agree. But I really, I don't know if you can tell, because that's a dark, it's not, this isn't apples to apples. So when that dries, um, I usually just let it dry overnight. Then I put on almost all of them, but that ornament I just flashed you, uh, a permanent satin UV varnish. And sometimes I, I put on a little too heavier than it, heavier than it says, not like you should. I just, do, I'm, I'm heavy handed. Um, but that'll help. These are already, um, some of these colors are quite UV. What's the word? Res not resistant. Re UV. Like, like the sun won't, fa the sun won't fade them as fast. They're fade resistant. Fade resistant. Yes. Thank you. Sorry. I wasn't listening. Um, but th this will add more fade resistance to it. And with the gloss layer and this varnish layer, like when they're at the galleries, some kid with sticky finger comes up, we're okay. <laughs> or, yeah. you know, they're rearranging the gallery and, you know, oh, the other day I was picking up paintings at one of the galleries and the dog, they have a new puppy and the new puppy's like swiped one of my paintings oh. with the claws. Mm -hmm. But because I had it well protected... It didn't do anything. It was the pair, the big pair's oh, wow. family it's reunion. Family, yeah. And the, the owner was going, oh. And I'm like, no, it's cool. <laughs> I mean, it can't handle everything, but. Then you go into your spiel. This is why I. <laughs> so that was a really long explanation of how I protect them. There's a lot of artists that don't varnish acrylic paintings, and I don't think that's wrong. There's no wrong. There's no right. Um, but I also heard somebody, a different person, say that like when you paint on canvas, you, you, I think the paint shrinks oh, just a little. And sometimes like you'll, you th you're, <laughs> you'll think you had it covered and it dries. You're like, oh, there's little spots I can see. So I put another layer on. I, ha I find it more on canvas than I do on the wood. And I, so I think it shrinks. And this guy was saying that there's teeny tiny little holes in it when it dries. And then those little holes can grab dust. And eventually you can't get... Like you're, you're wiping it down with a damp cloth and you can't get the dust off the painting because it's embedded itself into the acrylic. Mm -hmm. Whereas it won't embed itself into the varnish. That was a lot of information. Mm -hmm. TMI, is that what that is? Too much information? I don't think it was TMI, but it was a lot of information. 
for one question. <laughs> You know, I didn't want to do public speaking, but boy, can I go on. <laughs> go ahead. Uh, well, I was going to say, Lori said, he said to tell you he has been practicing drawing and he has drawn the character Stitch. Oh, I love Stitch. Oh, That's my, that was my favorite yes. Disney movie growing up. He smiled so big when y'all said hello. Oh, we love Stitch, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, that reminds me of your Stitch. I have a... Yeah, I... Maybe somewhere I still have a bunch of stitches. I used to love stitch. Oh, did you have more than one? I just picture the bigger, like, sleep hug. Oh, I have, a, yeah, I have a pillow pet. Or I don't even know if I have it anymore. Um, I used to have oh, a pillow right. pet that was a stitch. Having all that values underneath, though, could make really quick work of this bird. I'm wanting to make that darker, and I don't know if I need to. I think it might be fine. Okay, we got... What's wrong with this painting now? I think I want it darker down here. Is it... Is the... the I don't know if that's working. Oh, and then I can see all my... Here. What's bugging me now is... You can see my chalk pastel lines. And you could just, that can be part of the painting. This is just me. And then I don't have much contrast between this green and then the whites. I don't know if I like that one. So what's kind of nice is we bounce between things in a painting and you'll come back to the other part of it. Oh, and I don't know if I like that. Um, you'll see things. I think this could be done. Now what I'm wondering though is because I wanted to get all this bird in and all the flower in, I could have run the flower petals. Actually, it might have been kind of neat to do this bigger and then run the flower petals over the, onto the side. Should do that next time. Um, um, um. Oh, and then like, does the background need that swipe? Maybe, whoops. What's nice about acrylic is dry, so when I hit it with a wet brush, it's not a big deal. All right, let's work on... Go back to my little one. Diana said, thanks. Good info, smiley face. Okay. What's nice is, if I didn't make sense, at least you can back it up. Rewatch. Rewatch <laughs> it, yeah. I have, I have the whole answer at once. I'm like, okay, how do I slow myself down? I see the whole picture. But I don't always do the, the words. Oh, the other day I was down at the other gallery and someone, I was buying a piece from another, of another artist. Mm -hmm. It's a glass blown fish on a pedestal. It's really cute. Um, and she was asking me a question for the life of me. I couldn't do the charge and talk to her at the same time. <laughs> And I'm like, I'm so sorry, my brain's not. I don't need to mess with that. Don't mess with that. Well, what we could do, what we could do. Yeah, I had a little too much done because this could be done it, for my liking. Mm -hmm. What we could do, though, i got to get my reference photo. And that's the kind of stuff I like to do. I like to just mess around with it. There's little dark brown bits. And I could mess with, like, refining. So if you want a more real painting, smaller, tighter details, smaller brushes generally get work better. Looser painting, bigger brushes. Faster painting, bigger brushes. You know, more larger shapes of color, not all this little, oh, look at that, I got paint on my, not all this little detail. I want to darken that. I keep seeing things and I need to talk too much. I want to just make part of that little belly button thing darker. The belly button thing? I it can't tell. Of, with now the, I'm going to think of it as a belly button. <laughs> I can't tell with the glare um, if it did anything. Oh, and I, gosh darn, I keep seeing stuff. I don't like 
this to be a little maybe just kind of do it everywhere if it's everywhere though it's nowhere just kind of watch it I just kind of tried to soften that edge I don't know if it did anything okay brown Maybe, though, trying to sell the fact that I went too far in this painting. But maybe, though, you get to see how I really fuss with them. Because, you know, people are like, I want this in real time. I'm going, that's a 14-hour painting. <laughs> yeah. Because I do this stuff. You are the putsy queen. I do go slow, too. Yeah. But also could just me trying to save face. and They're like competitions of... Yes. People like how the person that like can sleep the longest and they just like lay on this couch for days or whatever. Oh, I thought you were going to go someplace else. Yeah. Um, but I think if someone was like, can you draw out a task for this long? <laughs> oh, it could it. take me two hours to get ready in the morning. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, look what's on the news. And I'm like, oh, I should get up and move. <laughs> I did that this morning. I don't think Lori was here yet, but Lori said, um, I would also, uh, in replying to Tinker, I would also like to see the back, I would like to see the background also. There's a link, and it's the last link in the video description. It has like three asterisks. I think, what did I call it? I said, painting two backgrounds live. It's that link. You said that so fast. <laughs> Painting two backgrounds live. <laughs> I think I like the contrast better. Yeah, it's um, it's how I did it. I was almost going to do it again. I don't think I will. You can also back up. We could maybe figure out the timestamp. <clears throat> All right, so I want... I like these little points. So now when at this stage of a painting, I'm kind of going, what do I like? about the reference photo, what do I want to make stronger? So I grabbed some straight up black. And after I had the points brown, I'm going to make them even darker. Because I also think because I darkened this, then it makes me want to darken that, you know, what's next to it. But I like the, I like that. Actually, the backgrounds, I want to say it's easy. Just keep going till you like it. I mean, like, I let it dry, and then I put more layers on it. And try to force myself to be random. I'm going to put some black here, but I don't think it's going to really do much. Let's put some right here. Stop. Don't keep, don't do it the whole way. Oh, here, I'm going to make this stronger. I don't know if it is in the reference photo, but kind of shape that butt a little. Okay, what am I... All right, I'm going to look at the stream. You don't, you don't really see... I could make this darker. You don't really see his toes much, but... I just uh, painted out all the shading I had on that toe tip. Here, let's do a screenshot. I think I might mess with the background a little. Is there stuff that isn't? I'm going to look at the stream. I, I like him. I like his pink legs. Yeah. Just the touch of pink. Yeah, the value is more important than the... Oh, we could put some pink someplace else. Or we could leave it. We could call it... I think Ginger Cook... Used to, it's been a while since I've watched her. I think she used to call it Color Surprise, but her paintings are very colorful and lots of color everywhere. You know, much bigger palette. Mm -hmm. Although I could have, I have a lot of colors here. I could get them all with the primaries. It is kind of a color surprise. Makes me want to put some in the beak now, though. Yeah, just a touch, because there's a little in the just belly. Just a touch, yeah, just to kind of bring it, you know. Mm -hmm. And it... You, you guys, you don't need to 
I don't know, sometimes I, I do this. I'm like, oh, look how they do that, and I don't do that, you know. I'm like, oh, no, I mean, do you. It's easy to say hard to do. You. I'm always like, I want to do it like they do. I love um, chalk pastel artists because it's loose and it's fuzzy, and I don't paint that way mm -hmm. very often. Do I paint that way at all? I don't know. I'm going to try some straight up quinacridone. I'm just going to test it here on the... Well, that's pretty good. All right, so now where? And it's, I'm, it's also scary down. Like, oh, let's put some pink. And it probably isn't even going to show. <laughs> but it's there. I don't want to put it there. It's too cool. It has too much white in it. I could. No. Maybe I'll just make that a little pinker instead of white. Oh, here. We could um, go a little... This might be too strong. <laughs> can tell I can't see very well. I like that. That's a nice touch. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, I think that actually might be a good idea. It might be too, a little too much or a little too something. Oh gosh, it's never right. It's kind of like, does it need a little more salt? And after a while, you keep tasting it, you can't tell anymore. I don't think that did a darn thing. Okay, leave it alone. I think that's strong enough. I don't think my little dot did a darn thing. Let's take some black. Oh, and just barely. Okay, background. Oh, I managed to kill like 10 minutes there. <laughs> Does it need anything? I was going to look at the... I don't want to go over the bird this time. I don't think so. You're good. Think I should leave the background alone? Yeah, I like it. You don't think I need like a little faint... I mean, you could do a little faint whatever you want. I don't want one there. I can feel it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to my background color. So these might be kind of dry. Oh, so I've been using this and I think I like it. I don't notice much difference from the water, but it shouldn't evaporate as fast. But I've been having long straw, like I painted this Sunday and then I was done. But you do, it. I, it's like a hairspray bottle. I've had to clean it. So what I think it is, is a thinned out matte medium. Do I have matte medium sitting here? Yep. And it's got the same green label, or similar. I like it. Where did I put the lid? There it is. I'm thinking the lid might help it from that tip drying out. So basically, I just put some thinned out matte medium on my palette. I'm going to poke a little water in here, too. Kind of wake up my paint. Oh, where'd freckles go? I heard a... A little pop, which I think was the window. Okay. So, I'm trying to decide. I think I want to do it. Now I'm nervous. <laughs> this is actual matte medium. I'm probably not going to need it. I kind of do like a stir. I don't know if it needs that. Okay. I might get it so transparent with a matte medium it was not going to show, but at least I can come back and do it again. Oh yeah, that's kind of fun. It's like a petal, but not. I like that. Oh, that's always so scary, isn't it, guys? Did everybody hold their breath? <laughs> that's one thing. Between all the sports and all the art I've done my whole life, I don't hold my breath. Okay, so that makes me kind of want to go. Let's see. Let's turn it. It'll be easier. 
that's fine. I want to fix it, but just leave it. And now I'm thinking that's too dark, so I'm just going to take my finger, which will... If it really is too, or too light, if it really is too light, I can come back. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that funny? Let's put another layer on it. So I laid it down flat, and then as I came up, I, t I rolled it so that it gets skinnier. Oh, I don't know how to, oh, I could do this. I think one of the best things I did, not knowing, is I took a calligraphy class my freshman year of college. Oh, that was my thank you to Jana. <laughs> and so this is like a cal calligraphy tip. So and you can practice like skinny. And they're not going to all be perfect. And then you can practice like, like a C. Um, really, your angle should almost be, I can't remember the angle. I used to know the angles too. Probably should be like at that angle. That's, that looks better. And if you're left-handed, I go, uh, Google it or you can search YouTube. I'm not sure how you do it. But then you can also practice like just square or put it in an angle and then you get. So when you're painting, they call it brushwork. If you're doing pen and ink, they call it calligraphy. Yeah. Yep, oh, my angle's bad. Okay, you guys get the idea. <laughs> Let's see. I've got this. Do I want this in there? That I like. That's fine. These are both fine. So I'm scared. So I'm going for the matte medium. You can use water. I just, I don't know. I, I use both. I don't know why I went with matte medium today. I don't know. I think that is even going to show. I'm so worried about it. So I'm kind of, I don't know, kind of mimicking his backside. I think I should just leave it alone. I think I'm going to leave his hair do the way it is. It's kind of like he kissed his girlfriend, and so his beak has got lipstick on it. <laughs> this needs a title, Kissing Your Girlfriend, maybe that's what we'll call it. Girlfriend's lipstick. Uh, I just like the touch of pink because it ties it all. It does in. help. It does you go, help. And it's three. You go boop, boop, boop. It does help. It does. It does. If I keep saying it, is it going to... Those little things can help. They don't hurt. Okay, I'm scared about how dark that is. Nervous? Maybe that's a better word. I'm nervous. Nervous. You nervous, Nelly? Oh, is that going to be bad? I'm trying to picture it when I do that. Maybe just a little. And it doesn't show. <laughs> but see, I think that's good. I mean, I think it's good. He's like, oh. You know. Because sometimes, especially like when I time lapse, oh, she gets it right on the first try. No. And show. So now I'm doing a little bit of like some shapes. I don't know if that's showing. I'm getting glare from my my light. Let me try one more time. So I'm getting into the territory of like this one. I I put in very dramatic shapes, like it's confetti or a party pop like almost like it's exploding tooting its horn I'm doing a little bit of that but I'm not going to do it quite so much on this one and I and then I'm starting to think okay don't go too far don't do too much I 
I think that's more, I like that better than the swipe over the stomach on the other one. Hmm. Per, just personal preference. Is it showing in the stream, honey, or is it? Oh, it's not as much. Yeah. Do one more. Did that take me five time? And then this one isn't showing very much either. Hmm. Gravy popped in the chat. Gravy, I've been thinking about you. If you were about to miss one more live, I was going to be like, where's Gravy? <laughs> Gravy you... says, howdy, y'all. Remember to like and share. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm playing with the background. We're pretty much done. I like that. I like the little sweepy. Is that too strong now? I need to... Well, it's got to dry. Oh, you didn't make it strong. It lags. The bird looks okay. beautiful, Gravy says. Thank you. I think I'll sign it here. So I go this slow, like I do it and I lean back. I feel like I want a darker one up in here and we're done. If it's everywhere, it's nowhere. Like this one, I was worried about this one. Look, it, they do kind of dry a little darker, especially when they're so thin and there's so much matte medium. <laughs> Marty said, Gravy, we have been missing you. Yeah. So this little puddle there is matte medium. Water works too. Oh, it's getting to like where. All right, let's point. Maybe if we're gonna do it, let's point towards the bird a little bit. I think we're done. Oh, well, gravy just showed up. I know. <laughs> I know. Put a little, just dark mark there. So I could come back and play it. Like with a rooster, I'd come back and put little dots and spots. Even if they're not in the reference photo. Mm -hmm. But this is nice. I mean, the bird, I didn't, it's not like I designed it, but you know, black, 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 mm -hmm. black. And then of course the face calls a lot of attention. All this movement, I mean, it's this portrait of a bird, so a goldfinch. He's very avocado shaped. He <laughs> is pear shaped. There's a pear. Oh, it is very Perry. I was going to grab my needed eraser. It's so, I'm going to do it anyway. It's so ugly. <laughs> There's a pair. How to paint a pair with wings and a tail feather. Okay, guys. That was fun. I, I'm glad I was able, I, you can leave comments. I appreciate the feedback. I liked being able to putz at my pace. What? Uh, Marty said, if you're going to be absent from class, you need a note. <laughs> Crying laughing face. Ooh. <laughs> so Gravy got schooled. <laughs> that was, mine was funny. It was all right. It was good. <laughs> <laughs> Marty's is better. Marty's is better. Uh, Leanne says, so cute. Love your birds. Two heart emoji. Thank you. Yeah, the more you, that's one thing about painting a lot of one thing. You, you kind of learn what you like and what to do. Oh, my watch just went off. I timed that pretty well. So I put a little water, a little matte medium. I'm playing with what I like. Ooh. Gravy said, I've been putting together a dollhouse from 1978. Wow. Ooh. I bet that's cool. A lot of work. I'm picturing big and a lot of work. All right, I'm gonna take a peek at the chat. Oh, screenshot maybe. Mm hmm Marty says, great live. Thanks. This one to hang out. Oh, do we need a close-up tour? Maybe I forget my. I should have a little checklist. I Wait, love, I love the lipstick on him. Um, if you go down to his feet, um, something wrong. Does his leg not attach to his body? Oh, see, like there's white. Is that the leg, the white one? Which leg? The the one that you see most of his foot. 
So you don't, I, I don't know what you're, which one you're talking about. The this left one. one. Okay. The white leg, I think, I don't know what it does. Oh, it's like, it's some feathers. It's some feathers. That's white feathers. And then the yeah. foot, I didn't draw, I just drew two toes. Yeah, okay. okay. But it I does a it. weird twist. It does have a weird twist, but I didn't, I thought the, I didn't realize the white was his feather. And then this so. one's actually behind, I think, this petal, which I could draw more down into here, but I'm like, that doesn't make sense to me either. So I left, I mean, I could fix it. But, and then he's got one toe popping out. Actually, I didn't, I didn't put it in. Oh, here, you probably can't see that. There's one toe. Oh, you're watching picture in picture. There's a... Le what's left of a petal that this toe's popping out over. Rose says this was fun. If you wanted to get that in there. Thanks. I'm going to go back to the... I forget that I've got YouTube going sometimes. All right. I see everybody now. Oh, there's Lori. Hey. Oh, and that's probably... Oh, that was way back. Okay, guys. Thank you. Thank you for hanging out with us. I hope I hope you enjoyed it. I hope there was a couple of things that helped. Even if seeing me struggle, I think that I like. I rarely see an artist struggle on YouTube, mm -hmm. but maybe I'm not watching the right channels. I'm like, oh, to me that's more helpful. Mm -hmm. um, I've always lose where I go when I get on a little soapbox rant there. Thank you for your support. Really fun to hang out with you. Um, super appreciate your support. Did I just say that? Great big happy art hugs and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye guys.